Well, looks like the the system has encouraged me to do a Dres mission. Let me remind me what our previous Dres mission was like, the one that failed to land safely. Oh, but it was short fuel, that was a problem, yeah. Okay, so presumably uh, we're going to be launching this on the unflippable again. Oh, this, this was going to be returned. Oh, that's too... Uh, yeah, we don't need to do that. Let's dump the whole idea of returning it. No returning it. I want as much Delta V as possible. This is going to go to Drez and then come back, and we found out that that's not going to be a thing. Or at least... This time we want to maximize our funding, not our science. Make extra stage? Where? You want another stage? This alone is, uh, is only 660 kilograms, 0.66 tons. The spark can handle it. I'm afraid of the wobbles again. Obviously, now that's going to be the lander stage. 6,912. How much is... Hold on, let me just uh, check how much this version is. Okay, so 500 extra. Well, I have to move the landing legs back, but we're talking about 500 extra. Or thereabouts. Move the solar panels from underneath. Uh, Dres doesn't have uh, an atmosphere, so they're safe underneath. And they don't cost that much. It's best to have them uh, for safety. They're only 75 apiece. The reason I say safety is because previously when we deployed these solar panels, they kept saying blocked by these tanks when uh, the sun was on our tail. So uh, it'll keep us charged like that. Okay, do we think this fairing is safe? I mean, is the payload safe or is this thing gonna wobble like crazy on the way up? That's my question. 11,171. I think that's enough. The question is whether this is going to wobble on the way up. I don't know. I've got struts, but we've had a lot of wobble recently. I wish we could somehow strut across this thing. Uh, some, I think somebody suggested I should at least test that, so maybe I should. Uh, yeah, girders, do we want to try that? Cubic octagonal struts this ways? Nope, uh, it doesn't connect like that. But you know what, now that you mention it, the SAS units are really weak. But it doesn't look like we can attach to anything above it, so I guess I'll leave that. What's in the service bay? The controller, a reaction wheel, and a lot of batteries. Yeah, so the controller, the hex is on top, then there's a 1.25 meter reaction wheel, and then batteries all around them. How about onto the outer tanks. What about the outer, uh, what? To the load? No, we can't cross this, I'm telling you. There's no way to, uh, here. Oh, wait. Aha, okay, so you're right until it decides to break this strut. Uh, let me see, does it work if we hadn't already done it? No, okay. So, if we move it from the SAS unit, it pretends to work, but I'm not sure it's actually going to work. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is legit or not. Try strutting the decoupler to the tail connectors and then build the fairings. Uh, looks like we've already passed through that. Okay. I am going to launch now. <laughs> I've had enough of this. We've strut we strutted this stuff. Let's go. Just watch it all fall apart right on the launch pad. Thought the fairing had to be built after the struts were placed. Well, you're probably right. Not too sure how, whether this is actually working or not. 
Or, I mean, I'm sure if I loaded it from a save, it won't be connected anymore. Okay, here we go. I wonder if I should disengage SAS for this. Probably, but let's try it with SAS until SAS fails us. It's shuddering quite a lot, but... Okay, looks nominal. Well, it's a very solid launch stage, that's for, that's for sure. Quite reliable in its own right. It's all a matter of how it uh, controls its payload, though. No, fuel will be fine. We've got more than enough Delta V. Much more than enough Delta V. I think we can dump fairings. And probably throttle down as well. Yeah, keep in mind we have to save some fuel for uh, actually landing the thing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm not saying... It might be that all of the Delta V requirements are quoted in vacuum. I don't know, Mikey. Yeah, I always go off of uh, vacuum ISP myself. But a lot of people quote some really low figures for... Uh, for how much Delta V it takes to get into orbit. And I always wonder which number they're using. Not necessarily 3,500. 3,500 to 3,800 seems not too far off, but uh, some people have questionable numbers, at least from my point of view. Yeah, we should see... Well, I mean, later on we'll uh, see... We should uh, tune the Kerbal Engineer Redux to show Atmo instead. Okay, I think that's sufficient. Alright, make sure everything is fully fueled. Yep. We've got three stages on our payload now. Let's see if that works out. Okay, separating pay uh well let's let's get the solar panels out and then separate the payload. Always good policy as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now payload separation. Okay, let me give it a little burst of thrust so it uh, moves away from the launcher. Okay, back to the launcher. Now bring this back down again. If we're gonna build a space plane to rescue the Kerbals from Leith, we're gonna need the rapier probably, and we're nowhere near that science yet. Okay, here we go for Retroburn. Now this time we're at a higher altitude. What does that mean? Not really sure. I'm gonna try 33.3 .3 from this altitude and we'll see. Good thing I have 35 years to get there. No, not really. We've got to rescue those tourists in time to complete that contract. I, I still have an itch to complete that contract. You have a feeling those tourists are going to be stuck on late for a long time? Well, I will, I will ponder that situation. I will ponder that situation. Can't promise anything more than that. <laughs> they were both sexes, so maybe I need to rescue more than three tourists by then? Oh dear. Surely the Kerbals need something to procreate, you know, food or something, right? Uh, 
hopefully they have a certain mating region of Kerbin. So when they're away from Kerbin, they, they're not gonna... I hope. I don't know. These Kerbals. Maybe only every 35th year. Uh-huh. That's why the contract has to be done by then. Good one. Direct descendants of cicadas, yeah. That's 17 years, I think, right? Uh, I, 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 I left the brakes out too long. I should probably action group that, but... Oh, crud. Wow, that was an interesting explosion. No, it's because the surfaces are reversed from where it expects them to be. So it's just being stupid about it. Here, now I can control it fully because it's not trying to hold retrograde. That's okay, I guess. Well, the fins actually survived this time. How wonderful. Okay, I've had enough of this. SAS off. And parachute deployment one. Parachute deployment two. Somehow we got three parachute deployments, that's fine. Parachute deployment three. Now brakes on. 48, well, 47 now, at least according to my count. This is good. I, I approve of this. You also uh, suggested action grouping to toggle them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, I, I take advice eventually, Mikey. Eventually. Take some time. Oh, really? SAS is gonna... Fine. Come on, SAS. Do not try and roll this thing. Okay. We've got valiant little Werner thrusters helping us. It looks stable. All right, recover vessel. All right, that has been recovered. That's one load off. Now to transfer the mission over to Drez. That was a good one. 123,000 funds returned. 92.7% uh, of the total value because we're still quite a ways from the KSC on this. But yep, 50 viewers, yes. Uh, let's get to the mission. Incidentally, somebody asked what it took to become a Twitch partner or at least suggest that because we don't have transcoding and I think we'd all like transcoding. Uh, the answer is regular viewership of 500 plus is the base thing. Incidentally, they have an exception for YouTube. Uh, they, they have a YouTube standard where if you get 15,000 plus average views per video or 100,000 subscribers, they might waive the whole regular viewership thing, but unfortunately I'm about like 1 20th of those requirements, so... I think SpaceX should make a full SSTO recoverable launcher. Well, I mean, uh, th it's gonna have to be staged anyway, so you're gonna have to... Uh, no, single stage to orbit isn't... Uh, Elon Musk, if anything, is very efficient about his designs, and single stage to orbit is not efficient with Earth. Not efficient at all. So... I don't think Elon Musk would be favorable to that. Yeah, uh, it's uh, because like you need like a hundred tons of m mass to lift like one ton to orbit. If you've got an SSTO, I mean that's good if you can manage that. The one percent SSTO. Come on! Ah, there we go. Wow, that was quick. Okay, good. But how much does it cost? 
1654 here and then another five uh, 850 over there uh, actually the fuel cost uh, 200,000 for the Falcon 9 yeah 60 million and then 200,000 for the fuel that's right it's not the fuel it's not the fuel it's all the costs that are associated with launching a rocket all the people it's the peoples it takes a lot of people to launch a rocket and if you're only gonna get one percent of the mass of it to orbit that's a lot of effort just to get a small payload up and then you need peoples to recover it on the way down you know refurbish it it's a single stage to orbit system uh, so you have to basically clean it all out, rebuild half of it. It's very complicated. We found that out with the shuttle. Right, of course the shuttle is in single stage to orbit, but turned out more expensive than than originally thought. Okay, well this is long burn. I don't know if... I guess it'll take quite a while. The most expensive part is the engine, correct. But presumably on a single stage to orbit system you'll have fewer of those, so that's not an issue. Didn't know that the turbo pump was the... Well, yeah, the turbo pump would be the most expensive part. I didn't know about the blades, though. But, yeah, I guess they have to be pretty... Pretty tough. SU-25T isn't in here, but I told them about the MIT lecture series about the space shuttle. And they, uh, they talk extensively about the engines and how overly complicated they were designed. And also how hard they were to refurbish, if you will. The overhaul was just too difficult. Uh, much more difficult than it should have been, I should say. They really should have built it initially with the thought of having to rebuild it every time, but they didn't do that. Don't do this to me, KSP. Ah, I hate when it's got two options and it gives me the worst one every other time. Whew. Okay. Well, that's our mid-course plane change. All right, let's see. Yeah, burn for six minutes, then dumped into the ocean. Yeah, let's. Uh, that's definitely the horrible situation, and that's of course what Elon Musk is trying to solve. But you solve it by having a very simple engine, as simple as possible. To get an SSTO, you're gonna have a very complicated engine a very high-performance engine. And so Elon Musk has deliberately avoided having a high-performance engine so that's easier to recover it and send it on its way again. Okay. Okay. And we've retained our encounter. Excellent. Okay, on we go. Yeah, it's generally a good Twitch policy not to uh, try and link something in chat without checking first. I only had Nightbot police the thing because uh, somebody tried to link a, a spam link in chat. And so I decided that I guess I have to do it. Alright, so that stage is out. Set. Okay, why is it that every other time I press spacebar it doesn't actually do the staging? Okay, here we go. Nope, that's not helping. Okay, looks like I need to replot here. Where did it go? Oh, don't do that. Half of the time the encounter disappears on me. Okay, let's try this. Jeez, Louise. But that's in 11 days, so I better be careful. What kind of a thing is that? I've got an encounter there, don't mess with me. Oh, come on.
<laughs> what is this? Okay, I'm just gonna head over there and hopefully this is actually an encounter. Okay, that'll do. So, what have you guys been saying? Charging them extra for the extended stay? Well, considering we're not feeding them, setting up a beach resort. They can't even get out of the capsule. I don't know what the statistics are for which is the least visited planet in KSP. I mean, of course, it's between Moho, Ilu, and Drez, I assume. But uh, Moho and Ilu at least have the attraction of being extremities, you know, the closest in to the sun and the furthest away. But uh, then there's Drez. I think Drez might be the least visited, but I'm not sure. Well, I've got ambient light adjustments, so it's not too bad. Probably want to land on this side. Maybe tilt the orbit a bit once we... Whoa, what, what, what's happening? Hey! Why are you spinning? Suddenly decide to spin. How strange. No, no, no. Right there will be fine. I'm sure we've done everything, yeah. We've done everything up to this point, probably Mystery Goo. Well, we can transmit one point of science. Yes, we should. At least Drez isn't called a dwarf all the time. I don't know, isn't it really a called a dwarf or not? It was the first planet to be considered a dwarf. It says so here. Yeah, I think it's called a dwarf. Okay. Well, let's go around and drop our orbit and then try and land. Biome hop. Yeah, uh, to use up the science. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, well, I, I, I wouldn't have read the texts either. I think I actually saw it on the wiki, not on there. Probably looking up the gravity on Drez one time and just read the blurb at the top or something like that. So let's see, where do we want to biome hop? I guess uh, the border between these two seems like a likely place, right? Seems like if it's two different colors, it ought to be two different biomes. There's a naive assumption for you. Oh, spinning around again. Maybe my joystick isn't calibrated properly or something. After all that yanking it in order to try and save that Leif mission, it might be off right now. Science near Dres, we've sent a probe here before, so um, we can try, but I think we've already got it. Let's see. Yeah. Well, this is high still. Let's wait until we get lower on our descent path. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem. We're gonna waste this fuel, most of it anyway. Well, I guess I can't avoid that now. Drez has eight biomes. Okay. Might be able to land? What do you mean, might be able to land on it? I think I missed something here. Oh, on the engine. No, no. We'll, we'll burn as much as we can to slow ourselves down. We gotta have a bit to burn for that. And not much time to do it either. I don't know, it's tough to tell. Is this sort of a. I'm trying to figure out where the biomes might be. Well, I'll just land somewhere and then 
move a bit at some point. Wonder if the PS4 version will have clouds? Doubt it. Don't know though. Maybe. Who knows? Only Squad knows. I think I can preemptively lower the landing gear. Yeah, that works. Unfortunately, my down facing lights are on the part that I'm gonna decouple soon. But here we go. Are those the lights or the terrain? Okay, I think those are the lights. Alright, I'm killing velocity and staging, I think. Yeah, I think this is close enough to the ground. Okay, looks like the land is about 250 meters down. Sounds good to me. Well, our little uh, module there is sort of acting like a beacon of some kind, lighting up the land for us. Up, it stopped. Up, oh, no, sort of there. We've got touchdown. Retract the solar panels in case I roll around. Hush. Okay, so uh, seismic data transmit. With that, we should uh, satisfy the contracts. Please have enough electric charge. What do you mean not enough electric? Oh, shoot. Had that one on, uh, locked there. But anyway, we satisfied the contracts. Let me double check that uh, all of it was actually transmitted. No, it wasn't. Oh, now it's gonna deplete. Darn it. And it's in the dark. Okay, I'm gonna time warp till it's got some light. Okay, mystery goo. Transmit. Okay, uh, barometer. Let's let the antenna retract and then I can transmit this one. Okay, here we go. Last bit of science from this biome. Okay, now where do we go? Where are we? We're in this little valley here. I didn't really check. What, what is this biome called? Is it called Dark Patch of some kind? Lowlands. Okay. I think these look like highlands. Let's just head straight south. And then maybe we can also hit a pole, possibly. Okay, that's the plan. Here we go. We don't need to retract gears since there's no drag. There is a pole, okay. Well, then maybe we should go further than this. Not too sure this short hop is worth it, but I guess we'll try it anyway. I don't have the gravity, uh, I don't have it. 
haven't unlocked that in the tech tree yet. Okay, I guess we'll go for the waltz. I've definitely run out of music. I'm landing on Drez for the second time. Uh, I, I mean, we just landed on it and we're hopping biomes now. Okay, where are we? Ridges! Wouldn't I guess that. Okay, ridges. Check for new contracts in the Space Center while I'm here. Ah, good point. Uh, okay, let's not do any more science. Let's check for... Yes, I'm using a joystick to fly. Have I tried installing Realism Overhaul? Yes, I have. I have multiple installs of Realism Overhaul in 1.0 right now. Okay, let us find if we have uh, contracts for this. Okay, um... Nope, nothing for it. Oh, here we go again with the electric charge consumption. So we'll try and head for the south pole of Drez after this. We'll see if that's a thing. I presume there's highlands as well. Maybe if we reach that peak. I don't know if that's on our way though. Okay, how much Delta V does it take to get to Drez and to land? Looks like, uh, well, I'd say um, thousand. What was it? I think it was almost two thousand to get there because of the plane change. We needed to adjust for inclination. It's about a thousand three hundred, and then you have to adjust for inclination at about eight hundred, so the two thousand one hundred. And then to land, it looks like uh, dropping our orbit took about thousand four hundred, let's say, with some buffer. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to hop for the pole, right? Yep, I think that's it. All right, heading south. Oh, that, that, that hill is in our way, or sort of. Okay, so if we get to the pole, then uh, I think I'll call it at that point. Been scream uh, <laughs> screaming, uh, streaming for close to four hours. So I think that's the longest I've ever done at a stretch. Uh, I'm I I haven't got my hey, there we go. <laughs> it wasn't responding to my throttle for a sec there. The mission is already accomplished. We were just landing and transmitting data from the surface of Drez. So we're just trying to get more science out of it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so where are we now? Last goo container? Midlands! Well, wasn't expecting that one. Okay, transmitting data from Midlands. We've got a healthy amount of science now. Not exactly what we wanted. We were trying to get uh, funds because uh, you might want to know this, Jamazi. Uh, we've got tourists stranded on the surface of of Lathe, and so we have to rescue tourists off the surface of Lathe. Three of them, and I don't know how to do this, so uh, I'm gonna have to be thinking about that. Might be enough science to reach for rapiers. Uh, I think we're pretty far from that. We'll see. Ah, oh, still... How much electric charge do these seismometers take? Probably all of it. They just want all of it. Oh, now we're gonna be in the dark. Okay, I'm thinking new policy. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this probe here. We've done three 
biomes on Drez. But I want to leave it here and wait until we get some sort of contract to do more. We've got enough fuel for one more biome hop, I think. And so I'm just going to leave it here until we can do that. Alright? And uh, so, yeah, we'll hold off on the pole since we've already done three biomes on Drez. That sound good? And so with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you on Monday. And I'll post a time in the title of the broadcast. I don't know it right now. Okay, so yep, uh, have a good evening, everybody.